welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel's all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm here with the July cozy mystery wrap up. I said August three times, so <laughs> nailed it. We're here to talk about my July reads. Let's just get right into it because I read so many good books to tell you about. In three, two, one, go. I started the month of July off with a fantastic read, Sticks and Scones, right here. This is the 19th book in the Bake Shop series by Ellie Alexander. Oh man, I loved this one. Okay, so Lance is doing with a small theater troupe at Uva, he is doing Taming of the Shrew, but it's like a contemporary, updated, gender bending really funky version of Taming of the Shrew. Like I was so entranced with this production. I really want to go see it. <laughs> if you can make that happen, let me know. Okay. And one of the guys in the, in the theater troupe really is a, well, he's a Devo. Is Devo a word? Did I just create a word? Like Diva, Devo. I'm sure I'm not the first person that thought of it, but is it a word? Is that I'm going to go with it because I can. He was a Devo and he had to go down. <laughs> he was killed. So Jules and the gang is obviously going to figure out what's going on. This one, all in one book, I laughed, I cried, and then I felt happy again. I was very emotional throughout this. There was, there's a lot of um, good stuff coming up for tour and I was so excited Highly, highly recommend this. It was such a fun addition. Mm, I can't wait. I can't wait for y'all to read it. Let me know what you think. It comes out August 20th, which is just in a couple days. And if you um, love the Bake Shop series or Ellie Alexander's books in general, she has a YouTube channel and she often does lives. Um, maybe like once a month, once every couple months. It just depends on what's going on. She started a podcast, so she does those as well. But her on her YouTube live, she will be doing one on the 20th this Tuesday for her book launch of Sticks and Scones. So it is at 8.30 Eastern. So you might have to adjust that time, but so much fun. And I can't, I, I can't, I can't wait to hear what y'all think. Okay. Now you're going to see me change clothes in five, four, three, two, one. Next up, I read the first book in Ellie Alexander's new series, the Body in the Bookstore. It is from The Secret Bookcase. And oh my goodness, what a great start to a series. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I haven't read number two yet because it. I read number one on audio. And so I want to read number two on audio too. Because I, I, I don't always like switching formats. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm quirky. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Tiffany. I'm quirky. Um... This was so much fun. Our main character, what was our main character's name? Annie. She and her best friend ha, were going to start a private investigation firm today, together after graduating college. And right before their college graduation, her best friend Scarlett is murdered. So there is an overarching story about what happened to Scarlett. And Annie didn't like want to go on with the private investigation firm without her so she is working in this bookstore and this bookstore is going to host a mystery festival. Oh my goodness. The owner of the bookstore is the sweetest guy. I cannot wait to check out number two. And number three is coming out, I think in like September or October. So there's going to be like three before the end of the year. I gave the first one five huge cups of coffee. So good. Next up, I read Elves, Evergreens, and Evidence right here. This is, what number is this? I am so close to being caught up. I am going to catch her, maybe. Miss Tanya Kappas. It is number 34, and I think there's 37 out today, but tomorrow might be 42, so we shall see. But I'm working on catching her. This one was so much fun. It is Christmas in Normal Work. Nothing's normal. So this series takes place in normal Kentucky at a campground. It's so much fun. The Happy Trails. And in this one, 
it is the first Christmas that May is married and she is volunteering at this um, Christmas winter festival. And the guy who does the reindeer, I think his name is Carter or Carvin or something like that. So he, so people overhear him say that he's not going to be doing the um, festival anymore and bringing the reindeer, which is a huge like uh, draw for the residents. And all of a sudden there's something, um, May is going to judge a gingerbread contest and she hears screaming and she sees the mayor come out of like the shed where the reindeer are kept and Carter, Carvin, Car Coben, whatever his name was, is killed. And um, he wasn't very well liked as normally happens in these. So there's a lot of suspects and the laundry club ladies are of course on the case. I, I, this is such a fun series. It's, it's, I, hoping to catch up soon and this was a very fun installment because not just a cozy mystery but a Christmas cozy. I think I gave it four cups of coffee. It was really good. Next up I read Dead, White, and Blue right here. This is the second book in the Northwoods cozy mystery series by Annie McEwen and oh my gosh another great one. I gave this five huge cups of coffee. So in this one it is Independence Day and there's going to be a July 4th festival. And this, we see someone who lives in town, but not very well known, get into a fist fight with somebody at the beginning of the book in um, our main character, Emmy's best friend's diner. So her best friend owns this uh, family diner and she's walking over there and she kind of sees this fight and ensue. And this man is not liked by anybody in town. And there's so many suspects that even Emmy's people that are staying at her resort, they are renting cabins there, have a tie to our murder victim. And boy, there is so much fun and shenanigans in this one. I love Emmy's character so much and her friends. Emmy feels very relatable to me and her friendships are again, very relatable to me. I feel like they're exactly how my high school friends are. There's budding relationships in this among a couple different characters. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for number three. This is a perfect cozy to me. It is a perfect location. I love that it's like a resort. I wish we would get more of those kind of things, resorts or cabins or kind of those sort of themes. And I love it being on a lake and it's set in the Northwoods, but in Wisconsin, of course, Wisconsin. So that means that we're probably going to get some winter cozies. I just can't wait for more in this series. It is so fantastic. I recently interviewed Annie and she is the sweetest. Um, I also consider her a friend and um, in my real life. <laughs> Um, we've met multiple times at Malice and last year at Ashland and, um, her and Paula Charles, I just, they, they, they are very close friends and I consider them such good friends. I love them so much and I love, love, love this series. You have to. Highly recommend. Next up is Death on Deck. It's going to be right here. This is by Courtney Bradley, who's court protagonist. Oh my goodness, I am so excited and happy for her. And I just, I can't tell you how much I am so thrilled that she has her first book coming out. It is so good. Oh my gosh, okay. So I gave it five huge cups of coffee. The This series is The Cruise and Crew, and it is four ladies that are in their 60s and they are... Um, embarking on this cruise to kind of celebrate new phases in their life. They're all very different women, very different in personality and um, in their what's going on in their lives, but they're, they've been friends forever. And there is a man on board named Seth and he, we see right away that he is obnoxious and rude. Um, he is very emotionally, verbally abusive to his girlfriend and, it's kind of hinted at that he could also be physically abusive towards her, which we find out later. And he ends up dead. 
he had a lot of ties. I mean, he had been in run-ins with numerous people on the boat just in the couple days before he was murdered. But also, he had a lot of ties just to some of the employees on the ship. And so our main character, Lisa, and her friends are going to figure it out. I cannot wait for number two. I love Cruise Cozies. And this was like... It, she compared it to the Golden Girls, and I totally agree. It felt like an updated traveling version of the Golden Girls. And for me to say that is a high compliment because the Golden Girls is my all-time favorite show. I love this so much. Chef's Kiss, five huge cups of coffee. And I will be interviewing Courtney I th sometime at the very beginning of September, I believe it is. I can't remember if we narrow down a date or we were kind of going back and forth but she will be on the channel to talk all about her new book death on deck and i couldn't be more excited for her oh my gosh it's such a great month next up i read a very woodsy murder right here this is by ellen byron this is one of this was one of my most anticipated reads which usually means i built something up too much in my head and it doesn't live up to that and i'm saying that like it's not that the book isn't fantastic it's me because i've decided what i want to see in it and when it doesn't happen exactly like i want it to i don't love it as much as i think i should however however this one lived up to it five six huge cups of coffee i am so excited for this new series it lived up to exactly what i thought it was going to be I couldn't be more excited. So our main character is D, and D at the beginning of the book, um, she needs a new change in her life. She's been writing on TV shows, and something happened with like her contract, or they kind of pushed her out, maybe because of her age, sort of thing, you know. And so she decides to buy this motel at um, in the San Fernando Valley, and it was just like. A spur of the moment very impulsive decision and she takes on a partner who is Jeff and Jeff is her best friend he's also her ex-husband I love that I loved to see that people can still be amicable after after love ends they get started kind of working on this motel and their first customer is somebody who writes as well in in Los Angeles. And so Dee knows him and she knows that he is kind of scoundrelly. Is that a word? He's a scoundrel. He's a scoundrel. Well, he ends up dead. This does not look well for a brand new business, of course. And so everybody's kind of looking at both Dee and Jeff and they're, you know, like, oh, the new people got here and then all of a sudden there's a murder, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So Dee is gonna figure out what's going on. I loved everything about this. I just, I loved it so much. I hope this series goes for a long time. I would love to see more. I think this goes along with my love for like resorts because although it's not a resort, it's a motel, but still it's kind of got that same feel. And I love that so much. Five huge cups of coffee, highly recommend. That is my last of my cozy mystery wrap up. I, it was small, but mighty. I enjoyed my july reads so much let me know what your favorite july cozy mystery was what you're anticipating for august give me a big thumbs up for this video and until next time all your future reads be five stars bye everybody